before starting to the azure data factory first we should understand what is etl so etl is nothing but a it is a extract transform and load so i will give you example with one of the case study so suppose in real case what actually happen is like we are having a data into a multiple resources we are having a data into a sql server we are having a data into another db so this kind of the scenario actually happens and most of the time the data is not in a proper format so after that what actually do we do is like we perform some kind of the transformation activity like suppose you have to do a joining activity you have to do a copy activity you have to do any kind of the transformation you want to perform suppose you want to change the date format so that is also one kind of the transformation so this kind of the transformation actually we do in the transformation layer and the third layer actually come is like load load so after that we actually try to load a relevant data into a particular table with the particular schema format so that is nothing but a load so it actually consist of the three word one is e e is nothing but extract we are extracting a data from a different resources T, T is nothing but the transformation where actually we try to perform some kind of the transformation we are going to see in a coming video like how actually we can perform a transformation also and after that nothing but the load load is like we are loading the data into particular destination and after that we actually do a reporting on the top of it so that is nothing but our etl now let's see what is azure data factory Azure Data Factory it is a cloud based ETL and data integration service that allows you to create data driven workflow for orchestration data movement and transforming data at a scale in a simple way we can say we are performing a ETL activity in a cloud space so here actually we are using azure so that's why we are giving as a azure data factory okay suppose in the below picture we can see we have an example in this example what actually the scenario is like suppose we have a csv file that is actually stored in the azure data platform in a storage account and we want to copy this file into a particular table that is nothing but our sql server table so this kind of the pipeline if you want to create with the help so for that actually we use azure data factory in azure data factory only we try to create this kind of the pipeline in the coming video we are going to see this all the scenario in a practical so that you will get a more idea about it now let's see what are the different types of the component which are actually available in the data factory pipelines so in the below example you can see in the picture we have a azure data factory where we can see we have a pipelines we have a link service we can see we have a data set we have a copy activity and also we can see link service and the final destination so these are the nothing but these are the components actually are available in the data factory now let's see one by one what are this okay so if you can see first is like pipeline pipeline is nothing but what kind of the pipeline actually you want to create in our scenario if you see we have a blob and we want to store into a sql table so this is nothing but your blob to sql you are doing a activity from blob to a sql from blob storage to a sql you want to load the data this this is one kind of the pipeline similarly you can have a, any kind of the pipeline based on the your requirement suppose you want to do from blob to blob that is also possible if you want to do from sql to sql load so that is also one kind of the pipeline okay now next things coming is like what is activity activity is nothing but what activity actually you want to do in our case we are doing a cop copy activity we want to load this data from here from blob storage to sql server so we are performing a S copy activity similarly you can have a delete activity you can have a multiple activity that actually we are going to see when we are going to do a practical there actually i will show you there are different kind of the activities are available okay now coming to the link service link service is nothing but we can say like it is like what file so suppose we have a file that is available into blob storage so we want to know like uh, we want to get the connection from that particular file okay so we can say like which file 
like uh, it is nothing but you want to perform a connection okay so link service actually help us to perform a connection with that file okay now next thing is like data set data set is nothing but we can say what file so suppose in blob storage we have a emp.txt file that is nothing but our data set so it will represent this will represent to your data set okay and the link service will locate like where actually it is located we can say where actually it is located better to say where where it's located okay so it is link service will help you to know like where actually it is located now next is the integration runtime integration is nothing but it is a environment so in the particular environment you are running that pipeline that is nothing but your integration runtime okay so in the integration runtime also we have a different types we have auto resolve auto resolve this is a by default by default it is created by uh, azure okay and uh, suppose uh, this actually we use suppose you have uh, all the data data available in a uh, data and uh, link service all you are using from a from uh, your cloud only from azure only then we are use then we use a auto resolve integration okay now sec next is like self hosted self hosted is like suppose uh, on premise you have data so from there actually you want to get the connection and all. so for that actually we use a self hosted and third one is nothing but the ssis so ssis kind of the connection for that we use ssis integration runtime so this is nothing but uh, all about the data factory component where actually we try to create a pipeline what activity actually we want to do link service is nothing but uh, it will uh, locate your file where actually your file is there data set is nothing but uh, what file which particular file we are talking about integration is runtime is nothing but on which particular environment actually it is running and after that we have a different type of the integration auto resolve is nothing but uh, if you have a link service in all the things are available in uh, your data uh, in azure only then we are going to use as auto resolve self hosted is like from on premise you want to perform some kind of the connection so they are actually use a self hosted ssis for the ssis kind of activity. 